Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, I'm excited. Provada Cigar Club, y'all are mixing it up once again. First of all, tonight we are on this Woodford Reserve Double Oak. And uh, I must say, this stuff is pretty freaking good. This is the first time I tried it. I just bought a fifth. You know, I didn't want to buy too much and not like it. This this see my unboxes I've done on Provada Cigar Club. I'll link some of those up below if you haven't seen it. But Provada Cigar Club just started this new competition. This is called the Charger Ash Contest. And basically they have this cigar. Let me just pull up the information. So let me make sure I get this stuff called right. the Charger Ash by Alendino. Now this cigar you can buy from three dollars to ninety five dollars i de decided to buy i think i got 10 of them we're going to unbox this together basically let's just read the rules here let's see eligibility first of all you have to be a legal resident you got to be 21 years old check check you can't be a resident of a few states i'm not one of those states so i can't participate this competition begins on march 19th it goes all the way to december now yeah. here's the thing your goal you must use a, a a charger ash cigar to participate check we bought some of those and it can be purchased at their website you must take a photo of the longest ash affixed to the cigar that you are able to create using a ruler to measure the length of the ash then they give some guidelines you must be the person taking the photo or have expressed permission from the person. You must be depicted in the photo. So in my opinion, for this to really work, I think they provide you a a, um, a ruler and all that good stuff, but I think that you gotta kinda put yourself ahead of the game for this to work. First of all, I always normally have a fan blowing on me. So first off, we'll make sure the fan's not blowing directly on me. Second of all, we're gonna make sure we do not put the cigar down for any reason whatsoever. You are playing to win this bad boy right here. This is the Provada Cigar Club Charger. They got this thing. I'm assuming they got that bad boy wrapped in some freaking nice looking vinyl action there. And they say they have my name on here. Everybody wants to enter the contest. And many thanks. And make sure you use the hashtag we are Provada. So definitely gonna jump in this bad boy so I got the wanted to make sure I had the rules correct I got that correct so let's just put this down I'm going to be using my handy dandy 12 inch this is a metal ruler it's gonna make life a little bit easier in my opinion this is a pretty nice case man summer smoke on the back provide a cigar club logo on the front you know provide a cigar club I've been with them for a good minute and no need for a knife. Almost made me spill my yak. I'm gonna spill my drink, man, over here messing around. Look at that. That is nice. I mean, that is quite a bit of action going on in there. And it looks like they may have threw me a bone. Yeah, this is this is what happens when you're loyal to the good old Provada Cigar Club. First of all, I ordered 10 of these bad boys so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i got 10 of them we'll take one out just so we can see what the band looks Has like the remnants of the charger on the band and it's not the biggest of cigars it's like shaped kind of like a lancerno and so i think producing ash on this is going to already be a little bit hard um, so I'm not, I don't want to manipulate it too much and possibly even affect me being able to get that going off rip. So let me put these in the humidor. So you may ask yourself, why in the world did you get, you know, freaking 10 of them? You know, the comp competition is going to December. This may not go well. I've already had a couple of double oaks going around in me and then maybe I get the cut wrong. Maybe I got to try something different. Today we're going to be using the good old bench made cutter this thing you've seen it before it is making another appearance because i like it that much and i don't care what you think but this produces a straight guillotine style cut so i'm going to try this today if this doesn't work out then the next go round will be a v cut actually actually no i'm thinking about this i'm going to v cut it today so we're going to v cut it in hopes that the v cut is able to produce a nice amount of draw. Hopefully the draw is gonna help me. It looks like they threw in the bag, I don't know if it's because I've been with them for a while, but I appreciate that. A fruit leather cigar, it has a nice colored wrapper. 
not too big of a gauge. So it's something that I will mess around with. Mm, nice looking band, unique looking brand. So first off, thing. let's just get this thing cut. You know, I saw Jeremy Sires do this um, with his wife. I think they did a pretty good job. And, you know, so I said, hey, you know, if they can do it, why not? I can give it a whirl as well. All right, so let's get this bad boy lit, man. Let's see if we can go ahead and try to get this popping. Let's see if I can't do a nice... I want to get an even burn. That is my goal. Even burn. So I'm not going to. I don't know if I got the right methodology. I don't know if I'm going to get this shit right. I just know that I like American muscle. I can tell right now the draw on this bad boy is going to be difficult. It's going to be a little tough. We're going to make it work. But this is a, uh, hopefully we can just keep a nice, consistent, even burn with this bad boy. That is going to be my goal. Once we start to get to a certain point, we're going to start holding it vertical. Wow, the smoke smells great. Let me get some more information about the cigar. I'm so excited about the contest. Give y'all a little bit of information about whether or not you should just buy the damn cigar. Maybe you don't want to do the contest. Maybe you just want to freaking get the cigar and enjoy it just to see what that's going to be like. The cigar is a testament to Iroa family, to their Cuban Coroja leaf, to their farming and factory heritage. The origin of the uh, Cuban Coro Corojo seed before the blue mode plaques is within. Not only are we blessed to be able to smoke this, but if you play along, you could win a Dodge Charger. See some people commenting on here. Number one cigar of the year so far. Original Cuban seed tobacco used in a cigar is very prominent. Delicious smoke. Dessert flavors are heavy. Absolutely fantastic. I can agree. I will say that uh, this thing does spit out a lot of smoke. It's not really giving much information about the cigar. And they're going to post the winner on or after December 15th. So, it's, I mean, it's still a while from now. So, you have plenty of time to jump in on the action. But, I mean, first off, let's just get a little measurement in. I'm already sitting here starting to ask. Mine's going to be a little bit different because I'm running my mouth. So, my measurement is going to be a little bit... I'm gonna see if I can give y'all measurements from the vertical position. That's why I got this camera set up here because I do not at any point want to. So I am at about a fourth of an inch. So I'm not very far at all, about a fourth of an inch. So it's not even worth taking a picture. I think Jeremy was at like two inches before his fell. Yeah, I mean the way you gotta smoke it to keep that ash up is real glory hole like I don't know if I like that But you know it is what it is man. I'm trying to win a charger. You know what I'm saying do what you got to do Listen man if you came from the other channel Let me know what you think about this most recent You know Acquisition I just picked up man. I just picked up this bulletproof laptop sleeve Check that out on my other channel if you've never been over there before I'll leave a link down below this bad boy here can handle 44 magnums 45s 9 millimeters 38 specials 380s you know 249 bucks free shipping american made ykk zippers i mean what more can you say man i i got two of them one for myself one for my wife this is now the new home for my laptops whenever i go anywhere it's going to be carried in my EDCs. Even my, you know, Urban Fighting Kit, which already itself has armor in it. I'm now going to pair it with that. And hopefully I'll just be ready to rock. Now, I am a little nervous because I got this fan. Normally I have it blowing right on me. I have it blowing up to kind of carry the smoke away from me. But, A, I'm getting a little hot. And, B... I'm just, let me just see if I can reposition this because I don't want to, 
don't want to jeopardize anything, man. So right now, I mean, we're getting a decently even burn. It's kind of hard to see from this top down angle because I will not be turning it sideways. I want to stress it out. But I am at... Let's call that, you know, we'll call that about seven eighths, about seven eighths of an inch. You know, we'll get way more detail as we get further along. I'm about eight minutes into this thing. I'm getting a decent burn. I wouldn't say it's the best burn ever, but you know, I will say, let me cover the eyes, see if you can catch the, uh, the burn action going on there. So it's, it's doing okay. So I don't know, you know, I haven't checked out the hashtags. I haven't been checking out the quote unquote competition. I'm really doing this to inform you guys, man. Like, you know, I really hope, you know, if I don't win this thing, I just really hope that we got somebody who's really into cigars, you know, that wins this thing. I'm not saying that somebody this is the first cigar they ever get their paws on and they're ever somebody's house and they decide to smoke this thing and they win. I'm not saying they don't deserve it. Maybe they need a freaking car. But, you know, I will say this, the draw is pretty freaking good. I mean, I bought 10 of them, so, you know, I'll, I'll probably submit myself a couple times. Just being able to see how far we can go, man. I'm about to run out of film on one of the cameras. The other camera's about to overheat. This is going to be me and you right here in the front. I'm so concentrating on this ash that I don't even know. First off, if you're doing this by yourself, I don't know how the hell you're gonna take a picture. Like, riddle me that, Batman. How how are you going to take a picture and do this competition at the same time? But let's just take a quick measurement. I am now at one and let's call that one and a half inches of ash. We'll call it one and a half. Can see if you can see that. It's about one and a half inches of ash. Still holding on strong. I don't know how I'm gonna snap a photo. I'm probably gonna have to turn one of these things off and get a photo snapped. Here's the thing though, I'm not getting even burn. And that might be problematic as we go along here because we're gonna start getting some leaning tower of Pisa type action. So I don't know. We're just gonna have to we we'll have to wait and see, man. We're we'll gonna have to see how this goes. It's like so smooth. I don't know what proof is this. It's 90 90 point four proof. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a fall apart and some coke if you like drinking it like that. It might be okay if you chill it a little bit. I think I might throw this in the fridge back there, chill it, try it out, chill next time. But this, I mean, this stuff is pretty good. I see why people kind of fall all over themselves. The other day I got a bottle of uh, bullet bourbon in. So you see on my table here, I've talked about all the, the bourbons on this table and even some of the ones I haven't tried yet. And I have this on the table. I have actually, until I bought that bottle the other day, never had the Bullet Bourbon. So I have that, the Old Rip Van Winkle I've never tried. So I have Weller's over there on the shelf. I still have yet to open it. So technically, I still haven't tried that either. Um, everything else on here, Maker's Mark, Blanton's. I have Blanton's behind me. I don't know if you can, maybe you can see it. It's back there, kind of faded out in the background. But, you know, it is what it is. See, let's keep it going. Oh, we started to get the leading tire of Pisa. One of my cameras just went out. So that's just telling you, man, we're about 14, 13 minutes into this cigar. The video won't be as long, but that's how long ago. You know, say I got this thing going. Might even see if I can do some quick saying the, the life we go through trying to get these videos man let's go through and see if i can delete some footage before we do that man let's get this good puff all 
Ooh, yes. Look at you, man. This is just looking great. I mean, we are about... I know y'all can't see. You're kind of far away over there. But I am... One and three-fourths. One and three-fourths inch. I'm trying to get this camera set up because... What's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to set it up to take a photo of me. And I'm probably gonna have to put it on like a 10 second delay. That way I can get the ruler up and just have it so that I have some type of proof, you know, that I did it. You know, I did the, did the whole competition thing and I'm not fudging the numbers and all that good stuff. And let me know down below, man, if you're interested in like having a tour, like how I film videos, if you're interested in like filming a, a survival video or cigar video yourself, like what do I use to do all that crap? Because it is a certain way I approach it. I'm not saying I do it the quote unquote correct way. I'm just... All right, so we got this thing back up and running. Let's get it back onto the mount. We're going to try to get it set up we just put this thing on a three second timer it's set to take three photos and so that way we're gonna do it now so i got this blinking let me get this thing set up i got a few photos i don't know if those photos process if it took i'm not sure at all you get a puff actually before i puff let me let me take my measurement, say it to the camera. This is the same photo I just took. It's still at about one and three quarters. I've been running my mouth. So hopefully I haven't lost the burn. Just think about doing these videos, man. If I'm talking, then, you know, I don't want the, I don't want it to go out because I can't relight it with this much ash. I guess I could, I, I've just never done that before. So I would just be freaking rolling the dice with possibilities of losing the ass, which is something I'm not interested in doing. Definitely, uh, definitely got a little bit of ash. This is probably some of the longest ash I've had on a cigar. I'll even try to take a selfie with my phone. It might be more traditional. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed, man. All right, I think I got it set up. Let's put a timer on. 10 second timer. They got that all set up, man. Now, we're gonna start the timer. So the goal is to measure it and also So now I'm at two inches. I am now at two inches. I'm gonna take another puff and, you know, then I'm gonna try to do another selfie with my camera. I think that would be a little bit more accurate than, ah! There you have it, man. Two inches. I know folks that did more than that. I know it. I know there's some folks that made it happen longer than that. And if you're still with me, man, I appreciate you staying this long. Make sure you check out this competition, man. This is the Charger Cigar Challenge. Hashtag we are Pravada. Brian, once again, man, thank you for even giving us this opportunity to win a freaking Dodge Charger. I mean, who hasn't seen a Fast and the Furious movie? Like, I think the base models can still get it. They, they can make it happen. So listen, man, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. I'm gonna finish enjoying this cigar. I'm pretty sure you can't re-ash the cigar and start all over again. So I'll just wait and do it with another cigar. I got nine more to give a whirl and quite a few cigars in there. So maybe I'll practice with some different cigars and work my way back to this. Listen, it's the first time you've been here, man. Hit that subscribe button. We like talking about stuff like this, bourbon, cigars, all that good stuff. If you want to see me do a blind taste challenge, I'm interested in that. I'm interested in that. So let me know, man. Comment down below. Let me know. Go check out my other channel. This is the first time you've been here, man. Thank you. Welcome. For everybody else, thanks for coming back. I'll catch you soon.
that's a good cigar.